All right, because this Briggs and Stratton engine is from 1975, it, uh, it has the old points and condenser system on it instead of the newer one that came out in 082-83. Oh, uh, those engines no longer have the points and condenser system. But to put, put the points and condenser system back in place, I got a new kit. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off by putting, uh, excuse me, first we're going to start with this little plunger and there's a groove on the top. Slide that plunger in that hole above the crankshaft here, flywheel shaft. The next part is to take um, this part here and there's a bolt. Now there's a notch on the uh, on the system here and there's a notch in here. What we want to do of course is make sure that those notches line up. Put the little bolt in. This one happens to be a quarter inch. You can snug that up pretty good. And then there's a spring. And there's a couple holes in the bottom of this portion here. What we want to do is to get the spring to go into one of the holes and then back out the other. Whoop, doing this upside down. Need to do it from below, under here. And the other end of that spring goes onto this post down here on the engine block. Put it over that post, pull it up, and then this part here sits in that groove on, on here. And the other portion here sits on that, that post that I slid in that hole there. So the idea behind it is that when this cranks, that post in the middle will push these up and down. Right there it drops. And then it goes back up. That's the point where the spark gets sent over to the spark plug. The other portion, that's the points part of it. And this is a condenser. Now the condenser is going to be connected to the coil and another wire, this is a grounding wire and the coil will be up here and what we're going to do is put the screws in the coil and mount it to the block but just loosely at this time. And we'll take this wire that we need and then this wire that we need. Alright, this is a condenser that we're going to be installing in here. And there's a little spring that goes over the end of the condenser. And then when you buy a condenser, it comes with this little plastic plug. Now this is something I just keep in the toolbox all the time with the small engine stuff. What that does is that compresses the spring and gives access to the hole that's in the end there. Once you have that spring compressed, put the wire in the hole, the other wire in the hole, and then when you release it, it's actually the spring that holds the wires in place. and the condenser is going to be mounted here with a bracket and a screw same quarter inch socket as the points over here now here's the key this kit also came with 
a .02 feeler gauge, which is what the gap between these two points need to be. So if we slide this up with the feeler gauge in the middle, and then we tighten this down, slide it out, and there should be that gap in there. Alright. And these wires can get tucked down inside. And then we'll put the cover on and we'll show you what's next.